evening, everyone. Welcome to Goodnow Gymnasium, the last night of the regular season girls' high school basketball, the Franklin Kennedy matchup. The Mahar Senators come to town to take on the Frontier Red Hawks. I'm Jeff Terrell, along with Chris Collins. Studio producer is Dave Reno, and of course, we have the FPAC crew here as well. Glad you could join us tonight for what should be a great game between two very good basketball teams. They had a great matchup the first time around. We'll get to that in a moment. But Mahar coming in with a 12 and seven overall record, four and three in the league. The Frontier Red Hawks at 14 and five overall, five up and two down in the Franklin County League. Chris, this should be a good one. Should be a good one and an important one for Frontier because if they win this game, it's entirely possible they could host a first round game. Of course, the tournament seedings are this weekend, games early next week. Frontier would love to play game one on this floor. Mahar lost at home to Greenfield back on Friday night, 60 to 39, breaking a five game winning streak. Jasmine Vittura had 10 points in that one. Michaela Melu had nine. And also Hannah Paula chipped in with seven points. Frontier won at Hadley back on Friday night over Hopkins Academy, 48-42. Amelia Sobieski, great night on Friday night, 18 points. Ella Dean, the leader with 12 points. Frontier won this one with a 20 to 10 outburst in the third quarter to end up winning it by six. The first meeting between these two teams, phenomenal. January 5th in Orange, Frontier won that. A one point victory, 36 to 35. Frontier outscored Mahar 15 to five in the third quarter and survived a big Mahar comeback in the fourth to get the one point win. Lexa Boyden with a team high 16 points. Ella Dean with three threes for nine points for the Red Hawks. Hannah Paul and Sam Rowe with eight points each to pace Mahar. But again, a one point game between these two teams. They're both headed to the tournament, as you mentioned, Chris, but you would love to go into the tournament with a victory. Absolutely, and I think that for Frontier, the key is gonna be the third quarter. They've had problems in the third quarter historically throughout this season, and they're gonna have to play four complete quarters and very good defense to beat a good Mahar team. All right, we're about six or seven minutes away from the start of tonight's game. We will take a timeout here. Get you set for the introduction of the starting lineups, the national anthem, and the opening tip-off. Mahar Frontier next on Bear Country 95.3. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Thanks. 
John O'Neill and Joe Whalen. Can you please rise to the plate? Nice crowd on hand here tonight at Goodnow Gymnasium. Last game of the regular season, and maybe not the last game of the season in total for the Frontier Red Hawks. They are hopeful of getting a home playoff game. I will say this, it is a stacked Division Three field in Western Mass Girls basketball. A lot of really good teams. Division Four, not so much, and not a lot of teams at all in Division Two that have qualified. But D3 is where it's at. And in terms of the Mass Live rankings of the top 20 teams, we have two going toe to toe. Frontier currently ranked 19, Mahar number 18. So two really good teams doing battle. Our officials tonight, Steve Kreitz is the lead official working with Joe Whalen, John O'Neill. Mahar in the visiting Navy with Crimson. Frontier in the home white with Red and Navy. Kreitz tosses it up. Tip is controlled right off the jump, Vatour for Mahar, attacking the basket on our left, goes back to Hannah Paul through her hands. The hand is able to capture. On the right side, it goes to Riley. And a high post to work at right side. Jumper from the right wing is no good by Tenney. Offensive put back, Jasmine Vatour puts it up and in. Good board by Jasmine. Two nothing in favor of the Senators, just underway. Taking it across here is Ariana Walker, Marie Demon into the lane, loses the handle, but it's picked right back up by Frontier. Ella Dean, her first touch, drives the lane. Little Bunny is in and out, no good. Rebound is pulled down by Rowe, Sam Rowe. They get across now is Tenney, left side to Hannah Paul, into the left corner for Riley. And O'Reilly now will take a three from the left side, that shot is no good. Rebound is pulled down by Ariana Walker. Wraparound pass up ahead. Marie Demon takes it in. All the way through, drives through, banks it up and in. Strong move by Marie, all the way. We are tied at two, one minute in. Larry Fisher, veteran coach for the Mahar Senators. In fact, he's in his 13th year. Now his team loses it on the other end. Marty Sanderson, the coach of the Red Hawks, in his second year with the girls program, but a long time basketball coach here in Western Mass, including here at Frontier. Has a state title on the boys' side 10 years ago. Turning around from the left side. Oh, we have an injured Frontier player is coming up. Uh, that is Tori Speth. She got hit in the middle hard. Yeah, she has shaken it off. Now the shot from the right side is no good. Offensive rebound by Hannah Paul. Had it, lost it. Vatour has it. Loose ball on the floor. Big battle for it. Held ball. The arrow will favor Frontier. And Marie Dean did a good job to knock that ball loose. And then uh, Ella Dean just went right after it on the floor and turnover goes to Frontier. And I'm looking at Tori Speth, she's okay right now. Well that arm is pretty well bandaged. Yeah. Right, right shoulder. Yeah, right shoulder, upper arm and shoulder. And looks like she is okay right now, but she went down really hard. Ella Dean bounced it off her foot, loose ball picked up by Mahar and a reach and foul called against Marie Demon. Yep, Demon tried to do her best to tie it up on the floor and ended up committing the foul. So it will go back to the Senators attacking the basket on our left. Three point shot up by Jasmine Vitor is no good, one and done for Mahar. Marie Demon comes back, bounce pass in the right corner, taking it through. Speth pull up pop from just the right of the lane, shot no good. We got pulled down by Sam Rowe, out of the pass on the left. Taking it across is Tenney. Tenney to the top of the key, bounce pass on the right side. They dump it down low through the hands though of Rowe, ends up in the hands of Sobieski. So Bieski gets away to Ella Dean. Ella Dean, foul line left, stops there. Back to Walker, back to Dean. Squares up for three, left side, good. Gotta see more of that from Ella Dean if they wanna win this game. 5-2, Hawks. 5-18 to play here in the first quarter. Hannah Paul, left side goes to Riley. A reach and foul called as they tried to feed the lane there. It's gonna be Amelia, I believe, that they're gonna get on that. Uh, maybe Speck, let's see. Who do they put up? No, it's on uh, Sobieski, as Chris said. 1-4, inbounding on the baseline is Tenney. Gets it in, they dump it back down low. Tenney had it, lost it. Riley gets it down low, now it's Tenney from 18 feet, kind of playing catch down low. They can't get a shot away, Vitor to have her down low, but Good now they tipped away, loose ball on the floor. And what do we got, a foul. And that is going to go against front, uh, going against uh, Maha rather. Jasmine Vertour will get the ticket. Uh, that was good lockdown defense by Frontier. And then Vertour pinned in and 
Didn't give her any chance to turn around and post up. Frontier with the ball, leading by three. They try to get it down low to Sobieski. Speck hits the deck again. Mahar on the break. And a held ball as it ended up in the paint and on the arrow to stay with Mahar. Tori Speth is just getting killed out there. He's run over and she have to come off. A couple of substitutions. Charlotte Doulette coming into the Red Hawks lineup. And also out there is Olivia Dean. Shot made from the right side, count it, and a foul down low. It's going to be Jasmine Vitor who got the inbound pass quick and drew the foul. Chance at a three-point play now for Vatour, shooting off to our left. The foul is on Charlotte Duet, her first. Just checked into the game. Free throw is on the way, a high arcing shot, and it's good. That's yeah. a weird looking delivery. Way up there, but it fell. We're tied at five now. And some backcourt pressure now by the Senators. Taking their crosses, Walker, Ariana. Takes it on the right side, Olivia Dean holds there. They work it over to Ella Dean. On the left side, now she'll take it top of the key. In the right corner, Olivia Dean. Back to Walker, Ella Dean. Her jumper from the foul line rims out, no good. Battle for the rebound. We actually had two Senators battling for it, and then Sobieski got in there as well. On the air, it'll stay with Frontier. Ella Dean will inbound on the baseline, gets the ball from official Kreitz. Throws it out deep to Walker, into the right corner. Olivia Dean fakes the three, skip pass left side. Ella Dean with a high arcing three off the back rim, no good. The battle for the board is won by Maha. Deanna Riley gets it away to Tenney. Riley has it, left wing, quick release three. Back rim, no good. Deep rebound comes down to Walker. Eliano runs it up on the right. Over the front court, right side. Olivia Dean, she'll take a high arcing three. That one is no good. Battle for the board again comes down to the Senators. Hannah Paul will take it across herself. Stops at the top of the key, bounce pass to Tenney. They work in the left corner. Riley, she'll take a three over there on the left side. That is no good. Put back, no. Finally, one more try. That shot no good by Sam Rowe. Three cracks at it, zero points. Walker to Sobieski, foul line jumper, bounces it around up there, no good. Vatour gets the rebound. Jasmine takes off on the left side. Picked up there by Olivia Dean, but Jasmine goes right by her, hits the side of the backboard though, no good. And Olivia Dean's in big trouble, double teamed in the backcourt, and a held ball, and Mahar is going to get it back. And Olivia just lost control of the ball for a half a second, and there were two Mahar players there and tied her up. Maeve Powell checks into the Senators lineup. And out there for Frontier, number, well, let's see who gets back out there. And Marie Demon's back out there now. And also checking in, Charlotte Dulette back out there again. Three point bomb put up by Hannah Paul. Off the back rim, no good. Deep rebound comes down to Marie Demon. She gets it back from Olivia Dean, stops on the left side, and a high post Beth down low through the hands. Doulette with a nice save on the baseline. Loose ball on the floor, picked up by Frontier. On the right side, it's Olivia Dean. Shot clock down to 12. This is Ella Dean on the left side. Pass tipped away, Hannah Paul comes away with it now for Mahar. Hannah with that high dribble, gets it down low. Tenney, the leaner, no good. Big side rebound pulled down by Mikhail and Mailu, who just snuck into the game. Seeing her first minutes. Costco pass on the right. It is Mailu. Now dribbles it back, looking to dump it down low. Does so. Through the hands, though, of May Powell out of bounds. It'll go back to Frontier. Well, they were trying to keep Powell down on the baseline. Well defended there by uh, Dulette. Keanu Riley checks in, and uh, Tenney will take a seat for the Mahar Senators. Six. Uh, we're tied at five, rather. So we're down to the two-minute mark here in a very low-scoring first quarter. Pass is picked off there, nicely done, and a three-pointer put up by Riley. No, loose ball foul on the rebound. That's going to go against Mahar. Yeah, that was not a great pass by Dean. It was nicely picked off by Keanu Riley. And uh, with, the, with the turnover, we're going back the other way. Hannah Paul just picked up her first foul. That's the second team foul. Checking in for Mahar, number three, Delaney Parker. And 
Now some backcourt pressure again by the Senators. And a long pass up ahead. And a high pass, Marie Demon trying to hook up with Tori Speth well over her head. This is frustrating, Chris. We're late in the season for making these kinds of passes. Yeah, I, I don't know if maybe the pace is a little too quick, but that was not a great pass. It's two in a row that were not great. 5-5, we remain tied. Two minutes to play here in the corner. Parker, again, left side, deep three ball put up. That shot is no good by Keanu Riley, and the rebound goes out of bounds. It's off the frontier, so it'll stay with the Senators with a new shot clock. They're gonna get Ariana Walker back in there, and she will replace Marie Demon. I'd say Frontier's fortunate that the Mahar shooting isn't better than it is, otherwise this could be in, they could be in trouble right now. Yeah, Hawks are off to a slow start, really, in all facets of the game right now. They dump it down low, turning, shooting is Riley. That shot no good. Back the other way quickly comes Ella Dean. Accelerates, she'll take it all the way through on the right side. Now she'll back it out. Olivia Dean has it. Cross court pass, Ariana Walker in a high post. It's Tori Speth. Try to get over to Walker, thrown away. I mean, yeah, the communication, the miscommunications here is baffling. Yeah, and you would think in the last regular season game you wouldn't see this, but it is frustrating. I mean, I'm sure Marty hasn't gotten off the bench in the last couple minutes. He's pretty frustrated right now, I think. 115 to play here in the quarter again. We remain tied at five. Wide open, but missing from the right side, Keanu Riley. Here comes Ariana Walker. Takes him across the timeline left. Now she'll circle back, gets it to the circle there. Ella Dean picks up the dribble, bounce pass on the right side. Olivia Dean, they swing it left side to Walker, back top of the key, Ella Dean. Fights through, dipsy to drive, that shot is no good. Battle for the rebound, held ball. Frontier will keep it on the arrow. Well, my heart knows the ball's gonna go to Ella, and Ella's gonna do most of the shooting here, but I just, the, the passing has been somewhat questionable right now. We're only, lucky it's 5-5. Only nine seconds, by the way, on the shot clock. They get it in. On the left side, shot up, no good, but a foul. Tori Speth will go to the line to shoot two. That's going to be two on Maeve Powell. And Tori with that heavily bandaged right shoulder. I don't know what she did to it, but last thing that's one on Powell. I thought that was two on Powell, but it's only one. First free throw by Speth, and she gets the bounce, makes it 6-5 Frontier. Checking in for Mahar is Abby Bonk, number 15. Seeing her first playing time. One more for Speth. Let's it fly. That one is perfect. 7 5 in favor of Frontier. Hannah Paul and Victoria Tenney check back in for Mahar. 48.9 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Hannah Paul jogs it across the timeline. Now on the left side, it is Riley holding there in a high post. Coming off through, Jasmine Vitur, no good. Tipped out of bounds, that is going to go off of Bonk, it'll go back to Frontier. 35.8 seconds left. They get it into Walker, they quickly collapse on her. Back to Dean, Olivia Dean has it now. And passes behind Walker, she saves it right in front of the scorer's table and they break the press. Here's Speth at the foul line, loses control, but they recapture, 13 to shoot, Ella Dean, Speth, and a foul called against Mahar, and the Mahar defender there was uh, Riley, really not doing all that much, but she'll get the uh, foul call, no, it's going to go against Tenny. Tenny. That's her first. Ella Dean, who inbound on the baseline. Gets it out deep. Gets it back on the right side. Can't penetrate though, picks up the dribble. Finds Speth in the lane, nice dish down low. Sobieski can't pull it back. Three point bomb on the right side is good. And that's how the quarter will end on an Ella Dean three ball. End of one here at Goodnow Gymnasium in South Deerfield on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier 10, Mahar 5, back after this. Tonight's game brought to you by Nardowich Tree Service, Greenfield Savings Bank, the IAABO, Albert Hearing Services, and JP Tire and Auto. So even though it wasn't a great demonstration of uh, basketball skill, Frontier does lead by five at the end of one. Second quarter underway, the tour just missed from the left side. Walker runs it up quickly for Frontier. Ella Dean between the circles, takes it now towards the right, bounce pass over to Olivia Dean. Skip pass left side, Walker. Fakes a three, can't penetrate baseline though. 
Shot clock at 15, and we have a foul on Mahar down low. It'll be the 15th foul on the Senator, so not into the bonus just yet. Olivia Dean will sit down, and we're gonna get Marie Demon back in there. That foul, by the way, was on Bonk, her first. Ariana Walker, left to the lane, goes up strong with the left hand, big shot though, no good. Jasmine Vitor, the rebound, accelerates along the left sideline, into the front court, now she'll circle back between the circles, Hannah Paul. On the right side it goes to Tenney, Victoria into the right corner to Bonk, back to Tenney. Plenty of time on the shot clock, they dump it down low, Riley with a power move, Kiana hits. 10-7, Frontier by three, Walker gets it away to Speth, goes over to Ella Dean, Ella take it across herself, a high pass though, air mailed it over Marie Demon's head out of bounds. I count that as six, at least six unforced turnovers in this half uh, by just questionable passing. I don't, know if, I don't know if Frontier's nervous or what, but they're not moving the ball well. Yeah, they are a lot better than this, but they do have a three-point lead right now, but maybe not for long. Hannah Paul, beyond the arc. Jasmine Vitor, they kick it left side. That's Riley again for three. That shot no good. Rebound comes to Speth. Got it away to Walker, Ariana. Runs into the defender up ahead. Taking her across is Tori Speth. Ooh, almost over and back. Almost another turnover there. Walker, right side. Marie Demon for three, banks it home. A bank three, you don't see that very often. 13-7, Frontier by six. And a high pass to Hannah Paul, she pulls it down. Bonk has it, Abby looks in the left corner to Riley. Three-pointer on left side, that shot no good by Mahar, loose ball on the floor. Held ball, the arrow goes with Frontier. We made a lot of uh, comments about the passing of the Frontier Redhawks, but the shooting of Mahar has not been great in this game. And uh, they're, they're jacking up those threes from the outside, Jeff. Yep. I think they're better players to try and move it inside a little bit. Sam Rowe just came in for Jasmine Vitor. Here's Marie Demon up ahead. Now a break, two on one. Speth pull up pop from the foul line is no good. Deep rebound comes down to Abby Bond. Abby will just take it across herself. Passes on left side to Hannah Paul. In the left corner it goes to Keanu Riley. Back to Hannah Paul. 15 to shoot. On the right side, it's Tenney. Bottled up there, back to Hannah Paul. The leaner from the right side is good. Strong move by Hannah, right down the baseline. Frontier by four, 13-9. Five and a half to play here in the first half. Again, that pressure in the backcourt. Frontier hasn't had too much trouble breaking it. Marie Demon got her way to Speth. Nicely done, up ahead to Walker. Walker in the front court left. And finds Olivia Dean. Right back to Walker on the left wing, top of the key to Dean. Can't penetrate though, deep on the left side. Marie Demon, nice feed down low to Speth. Tori double team down there, looking to get away from it. Tipped it back, shot clock down to five. Olivia Dean on the right side. Her jumper is good, count it, and a foul on Hannah Paul. What a great play by Dean. Ella Dean made a great move. Fake like she was in take three, went inside the arc and jump shot over on the baseline and Paul got a hand on her. And that's two fouls on Hannah. 16 foul and a chance at a three point play for Ella Dean. Spins it, sights it, shoots it, makes it. 16 9 Frontier. A couple of subs for the Red Hawks. They're going to get Olivia Dean back out there and uh, Dulette. Charlotte Dulette just checked back in. 16 9 Frontier by seven. 4.55 to play here in the second quarter. On the left side. Getting partially blocked down low, and now a shot up and no good by Mahar, but a foul. And uh, Riley will go to the line for two. Yeah, Keanu got hacked, got a pass from, from Jasmine Vitor, and we'll see who they post. That's on Marie Demon to her second. First free throw by Keanu Riley is no good. Ariana Walker checks back in. Abby Bonk checks out for Mahar. And uh, McKaylin Malu is back in. One more for Riley. That one is no good. 16-9 continues to be the score in favor of Frontier. Taking it into the front court. 
It's on the right side. That's Olivia Dean. Try to get down low to Dillette. And uh, lost it on the baseline back to the Senators. Yep, Dillette did step on the baseline going after that ball. Which I think would have been Mahar ball, front front your ball. You let it go. Hawks by seven. Jasmine Vatour on the right wing. Now it's Melo. Picks it inside the arc. Now she'll back it between the circles. High bounce pass to Tenny. Tenny back to McKaylin. Melo. Shot clock now coming down to 10. On the left side, they try to dump it down low. Tenny gets it back. Riley, she'll take a three. Back rim, no good. Jasmine Vatour battling for the rebound. Actually, that was a roll there. Couldn't corral it. Frontier looks to run a bit. Ahead on the right side, Olivia Dean. And now another three-point bomb put up by Ella Dean. That shot is no good. Deep rebound battle for Ella Dean. Goes to the floor. And it eventually comes away to Mahar. Looking it across. Riley, left side, three-point bomb put up. No good. And battle for the rebound. Goes out of bounds. Right back to the Red Hawks. The outside shooting is just not working from Mahar right now. They're going to talk about it. They're going to take a timeout. We'll take the break as well. Three minutes, 37 seconds left to play here in the first half on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier 16, Mahar 9. Tonight's game brought to you by Taylor Real Estate. Car Quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne. By Quabbin Valley Auction. And by Johnson Asphalt Paving. So both teams going through their frustrations on, on different levels. The shooting, as you mentioned, Chris, for Mahar has been substandard. The passing for Frontier has been a little ragged, to put it mildly. Well, I think Frontier's playing pretty good defense, which is why I think Mahar's having a tough time shooting. But yep. the outside shots just aren't falling. They keep taking it. Ella Dean gets it into Olivia Dean, right back to Ella. Ella. Hands to Ariana Walker, back to Ella Dean, gets it across. And Dulet dragged that pivot foot as he tried to pass out of a double team match traveling. That's an effective press by Mahar. And that time, they're able to force the turnover. Mahar back with the ball, trying to trim that 11 point disadvantage. Melu on the right side, it's Tenny. Tenny back to Melu. They're working now left side to Jasmine Vatour. Top of the key, Melu. A little crossover dribble, takes it to the foul line. Back to Vatour, Jasmine. Left side, Melu puts up a three. That's an air ball too strong. Loose ball picked up by Walker. Ella Dean over to Ariana Walker, back to Ella. Olivia Dean has it, they break it. Dulette pulls down that high pass, corrals it on the right side. Back to Olivia Dean, shot clock at 15. Left side, it's Walker. Shot clock now down to 10, Olivia Dean. Olivia Dean, jumper from just outside of the foul line and she banked it home. Yeah. Using the glass tonight out of the Frontier Red Hawks. Hawks by nine, 18-9, two and a half to play here in the first half, our halftime report coming up. Tenney, with a wraparound pass, back top of the key, rainbow three is no good by Melu. Deep rebound, oh Jasmine Ooh. Vator throwing an elbow around. They're gonna get her on a foul call before that. Well, that was Samantha Rowe that threw the oh, elbow. Oh Rowe, that's right, yeah, you got that. Two, uh, beg your pardon, sorry Jasmine, that's, uh, yeah. Rowe's gonna have to sit down, yeah. she was that swinging elbows. That could have been a technical, the way she, I mean, she really laid into uh, to uh, Dean, Olivia Dean with that elbow. Larry Fisher got her off the floor. And he wants to get uh, Delaney Parker out there. 17 fouls now, we're into the one and one. And uh, sitting down now will be Tenney, replaced by Delaney Parker. Well, you can tell that Mahar Senators are, are a bit frustrated right now. They're not having a lot of luck shooting. And that's because I think the shot selection has been, been not great. But the defense by Frontier has been real strong, too. One and one. First free throw is on the way. It is no good. Rebound tipped around. And a held ball, and the arrow will favor the Mahar Senators. A lot of tie-ups in this half. A lot yep. more than we've seen in our last few girls' games. Two minutes, 22 seconds left to play here in the first half. And Mahar has scored only nine points. That's not going to get it done. But much better than this for sure. Delaney Parker takes it across. Right side pass to Melu, back to Parker. Left side, Jasmine Vatour. Delaney Parker for three, left side, back rim no good. Rebounds pulled down by Frontier. Take it across, there's Amelia Sobieski. Now it's Walker, Sobieski, left of the lane, traveling as she up and shuffled the feet. 
seen it a million times. 2-0-1 to play here on the half. Again, I'm looking at the, the coaching staff on the other side, and Marty has not gotten off that bench very much. I don't think he likes what he's seen. He'll have a few things to say at halftime for sure. Left baseline drive up and in. Nicely done there by Malu. Michaela Malu, strong move. 18-11, Frontiers leads at seven. They led at the end of one, 10-5. So only six points here in this second quarter now for the Senators. Ella Dean between the circles. It's over to Ariana Walker. They dump it down low in the paint. Sobieski tipped away. Comes back down the Walker. Shot clock at 10. And on the right side, it's Olivia Dean. Double team there. And what do we get? A foul away from the ball, it looks like. It's going to go against Frontier. No, man, three second violation. Oh, three seconds, okay. Yeah. 117 to play here in the half. Mahar trailing by seven. Look to go on a little run here to close the half. Get just a little bit closer. Malo, and she up faked and shuffled the feet. Traveling, going the other way. Ella Dean will inbound just off to our left. Gets it into Olivia Dean. Back to Ella. Gets it back to Olivia. She'll take it into the front court left. Little hook pass goes. Now the overplay. Tried to dump it down low. Trying to find Ariana Walker. Had it out of bounds, that's off of Maeve Powell. It'll stay with Mahar. Checking back in for them is uh, Actually, Abby Bond. Frontier's gonna keep it. Oh, beg your pardon? Sorry, but yeah, it was off Powell, so right. Frontier ball. The spoke there. They get it in. Ariana Walker beyond the arc. Shot clock at 15, wraparound pass. Olivia Dean for three, count it! And the Dean sisters liked it up tonight. Biggest lead of the night for the Hawks. They lead by 10, 21-11. 40 seconds left here in the half. Left corner, Delaney Parker, they work out on the right side. Riley, Vatour in the paint. No good, one and done again for Maha. Her shooting percentage quite low this evening. Shot clock and game clock are just about in sync. Deep on the left. Work it over, three point bomb put up on the left side. That's an air ball too strong. Comes down to Vatour. Up ahead, here comes Melu, left of the lane. All the way through, throws up a runner. No, but a blocking foul called. I believe they're gonna get Ella Dean on that. Yeah, we'll Melu got just right. one step on Ella and that's all she needed and Ella gets called for the blocking foul. That's only her first, fifth team foul, but it was in the act. So two free throws for Mikhail and Melu. And it is up, it is good. That high arcing shot. And she does like this little stutter step, but she lets it go too. I'm gonna see if she moves her feet. Yeah, she actually does like move her feet just a little bit, takes a little baby step. Second free throw off the front of the rim. Rebound though, comes down to Mahar. Shot up, it was challenged, it goes out of bounds. No, not out of bounds, ends up in the hands of Frontier and that'll do it. Halftime here at Goodnow Gymnasium in South Deerfield and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, the Frontier Red Hawks 21, the Mahar Senators 12. Our halftime report coming up next. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. And welcome to our halftime report here at Goodno Gymnasium, South Deerfield. Frontier 21, Mahar 12 at halftime. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins courtside. Dave Reno, our studio producer in Greenfield. And we have the crew here for FCAT on this Tuesday night. Last game of the regular season. The tournament begins in a week. All right, Chris, um, each team with certain struggles, certainly. I think both coaches have a lot of bone to pick 
uh, with their players heading into halftime, but Frontier does lead by nine. Yeah, I think their Frontier's their bright spot in their defense. Done a really good job defending Mahara. Mahara's shot selection has not probably been the best it could be, but they're denying them a lot of those outside shots, and the shots are taken are rushed because Frontier's players are right in their face. The inside game's been almost non-existent. Maeve Powell, uh, excuse me, uh, Jasmine Vitor has five points, but hasn't really been a factor. Hasn't had that kind of takeaway, you know, over the game moment. Uh, Frontier's passing has not been great, but their outside shooting's been there. You know, they've got a few threes, and um, they're uh, they're controlling the pace of the game, which is the important thing. Frontier won the matchup the first time around, but only by one point in Orange. 36 to 35 back on January 5th. So that was a relatively low scoring game as well. We definitely have that here, particularly for the Senators. 21-12 is our score here at halftime. Take a quick break here in our halftime report. More halftime from South Deerfield next on Bear Country 95.3. Two other games tonight involving local teams in girls high school basketball. Turner's Falls is on the road at Southwick. And Greenfield wraps up their regular season at home tonight against the Athol Red Raiders. It will be Frontier Basketball to begin the second half, holding a nine-point lead. Their biggest lead of the half was 10. All right, we are underway. Ariana Walker goes to Marie Demon. They work on the left side. Oh, pass batted down by Paul, recaptured though by Frontier. So this possession continues. Marie Demon in the left corner. Double team feeds the paint. Tori Speth, right side pass. Ella Dean for three. Back rim no good. Put back by Demon up no. For Tour the rebound and a foul on Marie Demon. Yeah, Demon tried to one time that one back up after the rebound. Didn't quite get enough on it. And uh, so the foul, that's her first. So no big deal there. She'll come off though. He will check out Olivia Dean. Replaces her. First Mahar possession of the second half now. Michaela Melu, top of the key. Victoria Tenney. Shot from the left side is good. I got screen. Was that down Melu again? That was, uh, maybe, uh, yeah, I believe so. I got screen no, I'm by sorry, no, that was actually the Vitor, I think. Okay, Jasmine Vitor could not see through the official. Ella Dean has it between the circles. Closely guarded by Melo. Olivia Whoa. Dean, oh, a high pass ends up in the second row of the stands as Ariel Walker needed to be 6'7 to pull that one down and she's not 6'7. This is eventually gonna catch up with Frontier. If that's, Mahar starts to catch fire shooting. You, know, you read my mind, that's exactly what I was thinking, Chris. They've been, uh, Kind of do that three point bomb put up by Hannah Paul from the left side, 21-17. Yep. And here comes the press, which Ma Frontier didn't have too much difficulty with in that first half. Walker to Speth, back to Ella Dean. Dribbles up, goes to Speth, Dean. A little wrapper on Pice, pass nicely done. Ariana Walker runs it up on the right, shot clock at 15. Ella Dean, top of the key. In a high post, it's Speth. Passes batted down by Hannah Paul. Hannah takes it into the front court right. Finds a lane to the hoop, puts it up, too strong. Battle for the rebound, out of bounds. It'll stay with Maha with a new shot clock. Well, the Senators obviously got talked to in uh, the locker room and then come out with a little bit of fire here. Uh, Larry Fisher's a good coach. He's had a lot of success over there. He brought his team in the Greenfield last spring and upset the Green Wave on the road in the tournament. Shot down low though, however, no good by Victoria Tenney. Frontier still maintains the four point advantage. Six minutes to play here in the third. That's a steal. Matur had it right in front of her. Jasmine swoops through, misses down low though. And a timeout is called on the court. We'll take the break. 5.53 to play third quarter. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier clinging to a 21-17 lead over Mahar.
she tried to poke it away from Malo. Wow. Not, Not a good. Chance now for Mahar to get even closer. Turnovers galore here tonight. Malo inbounds to Hannah Paul. Right back to Malo. Turns for three. Too strong. No good. Ariana Walker. Double team. Someone's got to be open, and that is. Well, she actually did find her, and a foul. A little over aggressive defense there against Tori Speth. A foul on Maher. I don't know how much Frontier has practiced the press, but. They seem very confused by what, what Mahara is doing with that, that front court yeah. press. I don't know. I mean, maybe they don't. It's not something that they see a lot of. Looks like Ariana Walker is shaking off an injury. That's and something you don't want to see going into the playoffs. Sierra Warren now checking in for Frontier for her first minutes. They're going to get Charlotte Dulette out there. And uh, Caitlin Mackin. So a fresh look here. Literally. For fr Marty fr Sanderson. A look. Yeah, and this is by design. This is by design. He's not happy with some of the more veteran players. Mackin pass is kicked by the setter, so a new shot clock for Frontier. Well, he's looking for a combination that's going to work, and if the starters won't do it, though, he'll bring in the young kids. Marty's not afraid to send that message. That's exactly what has happened here. The inbound it. Warren's open on the right side. Okay, Warren has it, but the pass batted down. Loose ball on the floor. It's picked up. All the way through is Melu. Rejected. Nicely done there by Olivia Dean on the other end. Good block by Olivia. Warren's Pasto batted down. And we have a foul called down low. And let's see who got the ticket that time. He's going to go against the Senators. Second personal foul called against Jasmine Vatour. Who's had a solid night here. Warren. Left side. Olivia Dean, right side. Ella Dean comes through a little bit too strong. Olivia Dean gets the rebound, passes out of that. Mackin on the left side, that shot is no good. And coming down now, all the way through. Banking it home, nicely done there by Tenney, took it coast to coast. Solid play by Victoria Tenney, now it's a two point game. 21-19 Frontier. It's been all Mahar here in the third. Frontier really struggling to get their mojo back. Ooh, yep. levels to travel. It is a travel. As Ella Dean couldn't find someone open. Mahar is angling beautifully on that trap. They, they're just not giving a lot of opportunities for Frontier to open up passing lanes. Mahar can take the lead. Three-pointer right side, and it bounces Ooh. around. No good. Put back up. Yes, count it, and one. And Kiana Riley with a chance to give the Senators the lead. Well, you know, eventually... They were gonna start coming back and making shots, and that's exactly what's happening here. And Frontier is not helping their cause with their passing. Back in is Walker and Speth for Frontier. Riley trying to give the Senators the lead with a three-point play. She does not. Rebound comes down to Frontier. Speth in the backcourt. Get it up to Ariana Walker. Speth into the front court, to the line, to the lane. Loses control, out of bounds off her knee. Back to Mahar. Back in now is uh, Rowe, Sam Rowe for Mahar. We saw her earlier in the half pick up a foul and she was swinging her elbows around. And this is first game action since then. On the right side, Hannah Paul. Gets it back to Riley. Melu beyond the arc. Little crossover dribble. Gets it left side, Vatour. They knock it down low. Rowe saved it nicely. Shot clock now down to 10. Hannah Paul has it deep on the left. Hannah Paul's going to take a three. It's good. Mahar takes the lead 24 21. Olivia Dean runs it up on the right. Stops there. Nearly traveled. They get it back. Walker now. It's Dean again. Olivia Dean has it. Olivia going into the right corner. Trying to pass out of a double team. Tipped out of bounds. No, it's off Frontier. It goes to my limit. Yeah, they really, well, the two officials are going to confer. Steve Kreitz is going to overrule Joe Whalen. It will be Frontier basketball. So Bieski in. And sitting down is Caitlin Mackin. 
3.04 to play here in the third quarter. Frontier stuck on 21 points. They have not scored here in the third quarter. And they now trail by three. Walker between the circles. On the right side, Olivia Dean. They work at left side, Ella Dean. Back to Walker. Walker, right of the lane. Ella Dean, her jumper from 17. Front rim, no good. Battle for the rebound comes down to Mahar. Nicely done, Tenney. Up ahead to Riley. Goes for the bank, no good. Battle for the rebound, it's off Riley. It'll go back to the Red Hawks. Yeah, Riley might have been better off just stopping, waiting for a second, get the player in the air, and then take the shot, maybe draw the foul. Elected not to do that. And a turnover, that is going to go against the Red Hawks as Ella Dean stepped on the baseline as she was inbounding the basketball. Yeah, these are things that this uh, crew just hasn't been doing really all year. This team has been as fundamentally sound as, we, as, we, as we've seen all yeah. season. And tonight, it's like they forgot everything. But plenty of time, 2.40 to play here in the third. They only trailed by three. Maher had that ball go out of bounds off of uh, Sobieski. Amelia unable to come up with the steal. Inbounding on the baseline is Riley. Gets it back, checking back in right now is Parker. Parker has it between the circles. Right side pass to Riley. Brianna Paul has it, hit a big three a moment ago. Cross court pass on the right. Here comes Tenney. Backing in, back to Hannah Paul, shot clock at 10. Tough angle shot, had no chance of going. Battle for the rebound, Larry Fisher screaming for a foul call, did not get it, held ball. Senators will keep it on the arrow. Look at Larry Fisher. Yeah, well he's pumped up. And I mean, the Senators are moving the ball more deliberately now, setting up better shots. They definitely have, have adjusted uh, their game a little bit. They have reset the shot clock down to five. It was inadvertently reset. So Senators with just a precious few ticks to get a shot away. Hannah Paul for three, open, and she drains it. What are you worried about? <laughs> three threes in this half for Hannah Paul. 27-21 in favor of the Senators. Frontier still hasn't scored here in the third, but here's a break, two on two. Traveling. Wow. Olivia Dean shuffled her feet after she pulled up for a pass or a jumper. This is unbelievable, Chris. Yeah, and it's not a good thing going into a tournament. Now on the right side, Delaney Parker. They work a nice ball movement. They dump it down low. Shot by Rowe, way too high off the rim though. Off the backboard, rather. Here comes Ella Dean, a minute 42. Hunter looking for their first points of the second half. Here comes Dean, Ella Dean, foul line right, stops there. Olivia Dean, bounce pass down low, tipped away. Another why, turnover. Why not take that shot? Why, why go the extra pass? She had an open lane. Yeah. I don't get this. I, this is, it's frustrating to watch because this is such a better team than what we're seeing. Ella Dean just gave up a shot, and uh, I have to say that uh, Tori Speth gave up a shot from in the paint. All the way through, Teddy turns, shoots, misses, deep rebound comes to Paul. Hannah, through the lane, off the glass, no good. Tipped around, comes down to Sobieski. Off the hands, though, of Walker. Out of bounds, Mahar ball. And, you know, Mahar, the shots they've missed, this would easily be a 15-point lead right now if they make the shots they've missed. And they've been close. Parker out, Vatour back in. Hannah Paul for three. That one, though, is no good. And the Pass is stolen right back and put up and in by Melo. Stolen back, it was thrown right to her. <laughs> uh, yeah, really. How do you steal it when it's thrown directly to you in the, in, the, in the lane? That's a good point. That's a very good point. Threw it right to the wrong girl. All right. 29-21, an eight-point lead. Oh, hard foul Yikes. as Tenney just ran over Ariana Walker. And Walker was already dang, you know, her. she tweaked that right arm before. She gets up slowly, but she's going to be all right, I think. That didn't feel good. Ella Dean will inbound off to our left. Throws in to Walker. 44 seconds left in half. Frontier still has not scored here in the second half, and they won on this possession. They have a held ball. Possession arrow will favor Frontier here. 39 seconds left. This is an 18 point swing since halftime. Yep. That's right, ridiculous. They led by. A nice margin, they have relinquished it, and now they're behind by a good margin. Speth in the paint, Walker, left side. Speth will put up the shot, hits, finally. With 25 seconds left in the third. 29-23, Maha. 
Tenney. Gets it away to Melu. Melu stops on the right wing. Bounce pass, they get it to Vatour. Vatour turns, shoots, goes for the bank. That shot is no good. Rebound tipped around, comes down the frontier. Tipped out of bounds, it'll go to the Senators with two seconds left. It wasn't tipped out of bounds, it was thrown out of bounds. Speft. Thrown out of bounds. Just threw it away. And a quick timeout's called here by Mahar as they're going to set up this play. We'll take a quick 30 second break here. Bear Country, 95.3. All right, we are back here in South Deerfield, Goodno Gymnasium, and at, we are down to two seconds to play here in the third quarter. Mahar has been completely, and I mean totally, dominant here in the third. And they're going to have the ball with two seconds to try to get another bucket before the end of the quarter. Yeah, they've outscored uh, the Red Hawks 17 to two. Wow. And they're looking to try and make it 19 or 20 to two. Maeve Powell inbound on the baseline. She gets the ball from official Kreitz. Throwing it in, holding, in the paint. Vatour goes to the floor, loses it. At the buzzer, Tenney up, no. End of three at Goodno Gymnasium, South Deerfield. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Mahar 29, Frontier 23, fourth quarter action coming up next. Tonight's game brought to you by the South Deerfield Polish Club, CNA Repair and Equipment, Deerfield Pharmacy, Leon's Auto Repair, Wisdom Way Self Storage, and by Foster's Supermarket. All right, fourth quarter underway. Mahar leading by six. 29-23, Hannah Paul, who played great in that third quarter, has it. Here comes Tenney. Tenney into the paint. Picks it left side, batted down, loose ball. And we've got a foul called on the floor. That's going to go against Jasmine Vatura. Yeah, she kind of hooked the arm of uh, Olivia Dean. And that's why they both went to the floor. That Jasmine Vatura is a tough kid. Walker will throw in right in front of us. Puts it into Ella Dean, right back to Walker. Ariana takes it to the right side. Back to Ella Dean. Ella stops on the left wing. They work it now to the right side. Olivia Dean. Ella has it. 15 to shoot. Ella Dean, 4 3. That shot is no good. Batted down, out of bounds. It's off the foot of Tenney. Substitution, Marie Demon. And she can definitely make things happen. I think this is a good substitution. You might want to look for her now to maybe take the reins. We get it out to Walker, right side. Marie has it right now. Back to Walker, left side. Ella Dean, here comes Walker. 20 to shoot, plenty of time. Marie Demon got blocked on the way up. Sobieski has in the paint. Corey Speth at the foul line. Shot clock now down to 10. Mariana Walker on the right side. Marie Demon down low to Sobieski, held ball. Frontier will keep it on the arrow, but, but only four seconds on that shot clock. You can hear the Frontier bench saying four seconds, make sure everybody knows. They throw it out deep, pulled down nicely by Walker, center court, and over her head, that's not going to work, we're going the other way. Wow. That's right. Wow is right, that third quarter is not good and not starting out very well here in the fourth as well. On the right side, shot is no good. Tip follow up down low, no good. Tenney working hard, can't get that one to go either. Very frustrated. Play continues. On the right side, left side it's Walker back to the circles. It is Ella Dean. That's pass to Marie Demon. And loose ball, Spep had it, lost it. Here comes Vatour, bumped from behind by Marie Demon. Yeah, that slows things down, but it also costs her a foul. And on her, we'll have to see, I, I'm thinking that. How many is that on her personally? Should be two. Maybe three. No, four. That's why, yeah, that's, that's I why. Didn't know, I didn't know that she had that many. Yeah, she's, uh, Spep comes off, Marie Demon comes off right now. Back out there. Is Charlotte Gillette. So Bieski's out there as well, the two Dean sisters, and Walker. Three point bomb left side, no good, tipped out of bounds. It's going to go off for May Powell. So it'll go back to Frontier. 
Powell will check out. She's been replaced by Kiana Riley. Having trouble getting it in. Ella Dean had it stolen, but did get it back. High pass up ahead to Dean. On the right side, Ariana Walker. She'll take it all the way through. Reverse lane, hit the underside of the backboard. No good. But trying to make something happen. Deanna Riley between the circles. Left side pass to Melu into the left corner. Vitor, nice passing down low. Banking it in is Keanu Riley. And yeah, Riley's having a good, good second half as well. Mahar's lead is eight, 31-23. Only two points in the second half so far for Frontier. Held ball, got tipped away. And it's going to go back to Mahar I on mean, the arrow. It's a challenge to even inbound the ball. That press has really been very, very tough for Mahar on Frontier, but this is uh, this is getting away from them quickly. Yep. Not a good night. Last night of the regular season, then they'll have a first round game next week. That shot deep from the left side by Hannah Paul was no good. Walker gets the loose ball. Walker has it deep on the right side. They break the press. Dulet gets it back. Ella Dean. Walker between the circles. Right side pass, Olivia Dean goes off her hand. She took her eyes off it, goes out of bounds. Unforced error. Countless number, Speth in. Sobieski out, they're gonna get Marie Demon back in there. And Marie's playing with four fouls right now. Walker will get a much deserved break. She's been out there, uh, I believe the whole game, or close. Pretty close, yeah. but she came off on injury, but they need Demon to do something. I mean, that's why she's out there for. Yeah, that, that's who I'm looking at. And she's gonna have to be careful on defense, though, so as to not pick up that fifth and final foul. Foul away from the ball. Who do we got? 2-1, is that on, uh, is that on it, Durette? I think it's on Durette. That's her third. <coughs> And that's the uh, fifth team foul, so not into the bonus just yet. They get in the Hannah Paul on the right side. Melu into the right corner. Hannah Paul between the circles, back on the right to Melu. Up fakes, now she'll shoot from 17. Off the back rim, no good. And the rebound taken down by Dillette. Taking across, Marie Demon. Splits the D from the foul line. Speth passes back to Demon. Plenty of time on the shot clock. But the pass way off the mark, out of bounds, back to Mahar. Oh boy. Yeah, there's all kinds of things you, I guess you could do with the, with the game tape here. <laughs> there's all kinds of options. But still time. We're halfway through the fourth quarter, but they trail by it. They need a defensive stop. They're not gonna get it this time, hitting from the right side. 33-23. The lead is 10, and again, in this half. Oh, that was a, tr oh. Yep, Marie Demon just traveled. Got it. And the ball thrown out of bounds. Back to the Senators. I haven't kept track of unforced turnovers, but there's gotta be at least 20 in this game. Well, I will say this, Chris. Better to do this now than next week. <laughs> well, my concern <laughs> is that this is, the, this, they may have peaked. That's the concern. Rebound on the left side. Coming all the way to through. Three point bomb put up by Melu. Book it. 36 23. Mahar leads by 13 points. And Frontier may have dug themselves too deep a hole to come back from. Oh, you think they have an outscored 24 2 in the second half? That, Chris, that, I can't believe that. I cannot believe that stat you just gave us. 24 2, really? Yep. Speth in the lane, no good. Back the other way, comes Mahar, reaching foul. No, it's a carry, it's a carry, and Speth looks back saying, no, no foul on me, and it wasn't. Well, it was either gonna be Speth or it was gonna be uh, Demon, and it wasn't either, it was a carry, so. Abby Bonk in for Vatour. After the game, we'll have our post-game show, Helena Chemical Player of the Game. Ella Dean in the backcourt. Back around pass. They break it, nicely done that time. Poked away though from behind, loose ball on the floor. Held ball, the arrow will favor Frontier. We have to give some credit to Mahar defensively. I mean, oh, the sure. press has been awesome. And yep. you know, they've really made life difficult for, for Frontier in terms of moving the ball. But 
Frontier has not helped their case. No, there's been a lot of unforced errors. On the inbounds, right to Sobieski, partially blocked though by Hannah Paul. She's making a great case for Helena Chemical Player of the Game, which I just mentioned. We'll decide that after the game. Delaney Parker gets it over. Abby Bonk tried to bank it home from the left side, no good. Spent the rebound. Frontier has to play with urgency. They need a bucket quickly here. Ella Dean, Marie Demon, top of the key. Let's pass on the right side. Here comes Dean, pull up pop from 17. Oh, just rimmed out, no good, but she'll go to the line for two. Foul called against Abby Bonk. The tough decision now is whether to put this game up on our television station after, after it's completed. But I think it's, this is a good learning experience too. I mean, you go back to this tape and you see where you made mistakes. Well, Ella Dean's played a pretty solid game. Ella Dean is shooting two. Frontier will need every point they can get. She makes the first, she will get one more. And for the Senators back out there is Sam Rowe sitting down. Keanu Riley, one more for Dean. It's on the way, that one is good as well. 36-25, the lead is 11 for Mahar, but only 2.28 to play. A defensive stop needed desperately now. Anna Paul between the circles, holding it over her head. Delaney, Delaney Parker now circles back. A shuffle pass back to her, shot clock at 12. Paul has it. Now they go down low to Sam Rowe. That shot did not make the mark, not even close. Long lead pass down low, coming through. Speth, uh, Sobieski was open momentarily. Demon for three, that shot is no good. Rebound though, pulled down. Running it up is Tenney, she likes to go coast to coast. Pull up pop from the right side, short. Comes down to Ella Dean. Poked away, but recaptured by Sobieski. Marie Demon, in with the front court left. Snakes her way through. Back on the right side. Holding there is Olivia Dean. Back to Ella. Down the 136 to play. Marie Demon, they need to shoot pretty quick here, Chris. Yeah, they go to Speth. Oh, nice pass down low. Sobieski banks it in. That's the first time they've used the other play successfully, I think, tonight. 36-27. And, you know, I thought maybe Marty Sanderson would call a timeout there. Save some time, maybe set up a press or something, but you know what, he's just gonna let them play. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna, even if they get, well, if they get closer, maybe they'll call some timeouts. Sam Rowe got blocked on the way up, comes back down the frontier. Ella Dean chases down that loose ball, a minute to play. They need to score quick. They trail by nine. It's a three possession game. Marie Demon to the paint, blocking foul called, and look at the reaction on the face of Sam Rowe saying, I'm just standing here. But she gets the blocking foul. Well, there hasn't been a lot of movement from Marty in this game. I don't know if, I mean, he clearly is displeased. But in a situation like this, maybe it's good to let him play through it. Yep. That's what Angelo Thomas did with his uh, Hopkins boys last night when they were struggling down the stretch against Mahar in orange. Three-pointer put up, in and out, no good. Battle for the rebound, out of bounds. It'll stay with Frontier with 47.3 seconds left. I'll tell you what, though, uh, trailing by nine, this is, this is a tough deal to come all the way back. Demon, quick release three, no good. Run down out of bounds, unable to corral it with Olivia Dean. Mahar will have the basketball, Jasmine Vitour checks back in, Abby Bonk will take a seat on the bench. And some uh, new girls going out there now. Sarah Grafe. One of the younger players, bench player, now she'll come out there. Inbounded to Hannah Paul. Tremendous effort in that third quarter. But she really helped turn the tide in this basketball game. Oh, and a nice pass down low, and hitting from the right side is Grafe, who just checked in. 38-27, the lead back up to 11, and uh, that pretty much will do it. So Mahar comes to South Deerfield, and it's a big road win to close out the regular season. Missing from the right side, Speth got on rebound, put it up and in, nicely done there with 12 seconds left. Jasmine Batur will run it up, and a high pass over the head of Melu back to Frontier with 6.1 left. And Marie Demon, Larry Fisher just pulls his girls off, just gonna let them dribble it up. And take their shot. Ella Dean, a running three, no good. That'll do it. Ball game over. 
Our final score, Mahar Senators 38, Frontier Red Hawks 29. Stay tuned, our post-game show coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Country 95.3, Mahar 38, Frontier 29 is our final score. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins in South Deerfield. Studio producer Dave Reno and, of course, the whole crew here for Frontier Community Access Television. Well, Chris, your words in the second half were proved to be the, the epitome, the very definition of prophetic. You said the way this is going, these unforced errors, it's going to come back to bite Frontier. Precisely what happened. That second yeah. half was completely dominated by the Senators. It was. I mean, you, they were down by what? nine points at halftime they come back and win by nine i mean that's an 18 point swing and you know when you score eight points and a half and two of them are foul shots and you throw away many more balls than go in the bucket you're going to lose and you know if a game like this in december you figure yeah you know you're rusty you're knocking the cobwebs out it's unbelievable to me to see this in the last game of the season going into a tournament and it quite frankly i'd be concerned if i were a frontier fan if i were marty sanderson uh, this would not make me feel good. Now, sometimes you can bounce back from a bad one, a clinker, and then come back and, and run the table in the playoffs. It's happened before, but this is not a good sign, not a good scene, and they've got some work to do before they uh, meet that first opponent next week. One thing you've often said, Chris, when we do these ball games, um, you know, a lot of times you have said that during a, uh, you've said this during a tournament game, and we're not quite there yet, but you'll say, who wants it more? When, when you see teams going out there and you're like, all right, who wants it more? Well, we got the definitive answer. I'm not saying Frontier didn't want this one, but Maha, I mean, they they clearly, oh, yeah. even when they went down, they said, let's go get this win, and they went and did it. I mean, I don't want to dis discount what Mahar did. I mean, yeah. they didn't shoot very well in the first half at all, but they really stepped up in the second half. They played better defense. That trap just confounded Frontier. I've never seen a team this late in the season have that much trouble negotiating a front court press like that. But Mahar did it. They generated a lot of turnovers. They got a few gifts handed to them by Frontier, but they made their shots, and Hannah Paul just went off for three threes in that second half. And, you know, M M Michaela Melu was strong. Keanu Riley was strong. Jasmine Vittor, I mean, they, they played a better team game, and you're absolutely right. They wanted it more, and it showed. Yeah, uh, Hannah Paul, yeah, 51 weeks ago, she really led the charge into Nichols' gym at Greenfield that uh, quarterfinal round playoff game. When Mahar came to Greenfield and knocked off the wave, kept them from going to the cage, they ended up going to UMass themselves, and Hannah Paul was a big part of the victory that night. Big part of the victory here tonight. Again, Mahar wins it by a final score of 38-229. So they finish the regular season at 13-7, 5-3 in the league. Frontier finishes up at 14-6, also 5-3 in the league. Now you Help. mentioned, by the way, yeah. that Mahar, this is, you know, what Mahar did last year to Greenfield. And this is a stacked D3 field. We know this going in. But I would not look past the Mahar Senators. If, if you have them uh, in the first round, or you know, I, I would be concerned. Because this is the kind of a team we saw with Greenfield last year that can sneak, sneak up and bite you. And if they play the way they played tonight, if they shoot a little better, they're going to be tough out. They could be a very tough out. No doubt about it. Chris, we'll have you run the final numbers, and then we'll reveal our Helena Chemical player of the game. Okay, for the Mahar Senators, leading scorer was Hannah Paul with 11 points, three threes in that second half, 10 for Michaela Melu, seven for Jasmine Vitor, six for Keanu Riley, two for Sarah Grief, and two for Victoria Tenney. For the Frontier Red Hawks, Ella Dean led the way with 11 points, nine in the first half, six for Tori Speth, five each for Olivia Dean and Marie Demon, and two points for Amelia Sobieski, 38-29 is the final. 
All right, we reveal the hell on a chemical player of the game. It will come from the winning team, uh, obviously, Maher. They played much better than Frontier this evening. Uh, certainly earlier on, early in the game, really, it was uh, Jasmine Vatur who was getting it done. Um, you know, we saw some really good efforts from uh, Michaela uh, Melu. She looked uh, really strong, you know, pretty much wire to wire. But really, when this game was decided, when the tie turned, number 10 for Maher was in the middle of it. Yeah, it was Hannah Paul, and she made three really, really big threes at one point to extend the lead, I think, to eight. And that was lead that they never relinquished. So, uh, you know, plus I think that she was really kind of a general out there on the floor. She, and we've always seen her sort of take over games here and there. But in this case, she was the best player out there. So Mahar wins it. Again, our final score here at Goodno Gymnasium in South Deerfield. The Mahar Senators 38 and the Frontier Red Hawks 29. So we're done now with the regular season. So now we sit tight Saturday at uh, Springfield. That's when they will decide the seedings and the pairings and all that good stuff. The tournament begins in a week. We will figure out our broadcast plans right here on Bear Country 95.3. We will let you know, but in, now we have a, a little bit of a breather before the second season begins when everybody goes back to zero and zero. And there's that three week mad dash to the state finals down in spring. Final score, one more time. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Mahar 38, Frontier 29 for Chris Collins and for Dave Reno on Jump Terrell. Thanks for joining us tonight. Have a great night in Durham.